What's going on everybody, MonkeyDude22 here for another tip, trick, or tutorial video. And in this video today, I'm going to show you all of the neat stuff you can now do with the new pins and home pin system on the newest Xbox One dashboard. So let's start right off with the basics. Pins, of course, give you quick and easy access to the games and apps that you care about most, right? Most folks weren't satisfied with the amount of pins that you could have previously, so Xbox decided that you could use some more. Now we can have up to 40 pins. I don't know about you, but I don't think I'll ever use that many, but here's how quick and easy it is to get to your pins from the home screen. Bam. Just pull the right trigger and head on down to the next section, which is your pins. But what if you're in a game? Well, the Xbox baked this right into the new guide system as well. Just hit the Xbox button on your controller, press down, and right to the right right here is pins. Press A on that, bam, here's the same list of 40 pins that you can now have. And check this out, you can even hit the Y button and you can reorganize your pins right here from the guide. You don't even need to go to the dashboard. But if you want to, check this out. Just hit the Xbox button on your controller and then press A because you're already on the home screen. Here, I'll do it again right here from the store. Guide button, A for home, bam. Just that quick and easy to get right back to the home. You really don't even need to use the home dashboard anymore. Everything is right there built into the guide. Now here's a new feature called home pins. Now what this does is it'll allow you to do the exact same thing you can with pinning a game into those 40 pins right here, but it'll go even further by providing more detail about the game you pin. Let's go ahead and pin a game right now. So let's say for example, I want to pin Cuphead or Destiny 2. Let's go ahead and do Destiny 2. All you need to do is press the menu button on your controller and from the menu here, go ahead and press A on add to home. And bam, just like that, we're back on the home screen. But now if I pull the right trigger, boom, I'm on my new home destiny pin. Now you can check this out. It has its own little cool background. You can see we've got destiny right here. We got a little bit of information. This was my friend the last time he was playing. We can see some broadcast information right here. But if we see this little icon right here, this is the communities button. Boom, it's gonna take us right in to the community section of destiny 2. Right here from the welcome screen, it's gonna show the latest captures. It's gonna show all the people that are playing right now that are on my friends list. Hey, look, Xbox One X UK, what's going on, man? Then we've got broadcasts from the communities. We got achievements, activity feed, even different clubs. But the cool thing too, you can just tab on over to the right and you can see your own progress. Obviously, we're gonna see how bad my stats are. I don't even have any achievements in this game right now. But of course, we've also got the stats button right here. We can see all the different stats. Look at that, I played 10 minutes. I just started the game. I didn't even really play a whole lot after that. But here's the achievements right here. We can go over to multiplayer and we can see all of the different multiplayer, looking for group posts, all the different LFGs, all those different stuff. We've got some Trials of the Nine here. Somebody wants to do some Nightfall. Love the sloth right there, that's pretty cool. Um, so yeah, I got all that cool stuff right here. We can tab over and we can see the social tab. So we've got uh, all the friends that are playing right now. I got Canyon Surfer, Darth Longtail that are playing right now. All of my different friends right here. Uh, we've got all the different clubs that maybe I'm a part of or all the different clubs that are related to Destiny. And of course, we've got the watch tab so we can watch all of the different captures on Game DVR. And we can tab over here right to broadcasts and we can see everybody that's currently streaming on Mixer. Pretty cool, pretty well integrated, I love it. It's so awesome. But here's another different aspect. Let's say, for example, you wanna kinda of shift these things around. Well, let's go ahead and add another game, just for grins. I'm gonna go ahead and put on Gears of War 4. So same thing, we're gonna highlight over the game. I'm gonna press the menu button on the controller, and then we're gonna do Add to Home. All right, so right back here on the home screen, we're gonna scroll right down and we've got Gears of War 4 now, and we've got our pins, and Destiny 2 right here. So Gears of War, Destiny 2, and our pins. Now, let's say for example, we want the pins on the top. We don't want Gears of War, Destiny 2 on the top. If we hover over the section that we want, right now in the pins case, I'm gonna go ahead and hit the Y button to edit. And then right here, I'm gonna have the option to move it right up to the top. So I can just put it right there by confirming or hitting A. I can delete the pins if I wanted to, or I can just press B to cancel it. And boom, there we go, we confirmed it. Now we have the pins right on the top. So easily just pull the right trigger, there's the pins. Here's Gears of War and Destiny 2. I love how quick and easy and snappy everything is with the new dashboard. I can't say that enough with this right now. 
Of course, you're probably also asking yourself, well, what if I don't have it in the pins right now when I want to add it to home? Well, it's not a big deal at all, because all we need to do is head over to My Games and Apps. You just hit the Xbox button on the controller, press down once, here's My Games and Apps. Boom, we're in My Games and Apps. Now all we have to do is just pick a game right out of here. All you really need to do is just highlight the game. So I'll just say Ark Survival. Press the menu button on the controller, add to home, add to pins, add to home. Boom, there it is. Now it's at the home menu. We'll go back by hitting the Xbox button and A to home. And here we are back in the home menu. And there's Ark right there. Quick and simple and easy. Well, that's going to about wrap it up for the new pins and home pin system. If you have any comments, questions, or suggestions for new videos, please let me know by leaving a comment in the comment section below. And make sure to share this video with your friends who might also be interested in learning more about the pin and home pin system on Xbox One. If the video was helpful though, please make sure to hit that like button and consider subscribing as well for more video content just like this. I'm MonkeyDo22, thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.